What up, people? How we doing? We are at second episode of Control! I'm so excited. I couldn't stop thinking about this game since I last recorded, so let's jump right into it. Uh, last time, we got everything working, and we are going to find our way, I believe, down this hallway. This is where we were going. We are entering the communications department to find the hotline. And, yep. Ooh, I just, you love the font. And, like, the pop-ups are great. What's this way? I need, like, a flashlight, you know? Can I get up this way? Does not appear so. Ooh, there's stuff this way. Let's check it out. Machine God. Uh, I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. And this machine will be his body, his heart, his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus timing belt for my car's engine and the wheels for my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, and Dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you need to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use dialing plate on God. That's hilarious. I love that. That's so funny built like a janky god tell me where's your god now I built him at a radio shack all right what do we got I got a personal mod I'm assuming I can't equip these yet can I enter here oh I thought the Rolodex was like moving on its own I was about to get freaked out dead letter approval Director Trench, I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive, cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail. Okay, so this is, the Dead Letters are delinquent mail. It allows us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. Okay. They're gathered by the post service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones will allow us insight, much like building God... Uh, into the perceived um, unknown. Cool. All right. So not all these are like real things. Obviously, you know, Radio Shack God may not, may or may or may not be real. I don't know. I feel like I've angered some presence by by being here. The singing fish. <laughs> Mr. Governor, I called the police and they will never come to my house. I got a problem and I have folks to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish for the walls. The big mouth Billy Bass. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit the button, but it's got the devil in it. I agree. It fl it flies around at night and sings devil songs. Says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish and you got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. Will you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. Dwayne... You're, you're a gem. All right. Don't let anybody tell you different. Oh, there's dudes. He has like a shield? Am I seeing this right? Angered, I have angered, I have angered Radio Shack God. You know, I want to put Radio Shack God on a t-shirt. I really do. I think that, I honestly think that that letter is super funny. You have a dream and you build God out of things in your home. Because you know the crazy thing? You know the crazy thing is I used to do that, right? I used to love taking stuff apart and making, like, fake robots and stuff. Which... Honestly, is a little concerning now that I'm thinking about it, because, like, this game is like, this person's crazy. Am I crazy? I used to do that as a kid, you know? You would take apart, uh, like, a calculator or 
you know, I would build fake robots to go do things. And obviously I didn't think they were real or anything, but, you know, it was cool. I thought it was cool. Let me know in the comments if you did shit like that as a kid. I'm not saying you need to, you know, admit on a YouTube comment section uh, that you have some form of psychosis, but I am suggesting that maybe, just maybe, ho oh, oh! ho! Maybe, just maybe, uh, I'm not alone. Fucking die! All right. All right. What else we got? What else we got? Cleanse. Boom! Awesome. Even though this dude over here is still flying. Alright, enter the communications department. I don't have... I don't have this security. So I can now fast travel between where I was before and here. I mean, that's a very obvious thing to say. Uh, th this door down here is open now. What do we got? Dead Presidents. Ooh, the album Dead Presidents? All right, to whom it may concern, I'm being contacted by the presidents of the U.S. Uh, they appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Teddy Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. Got him. Uh, take that, atheists. Uh, have a, I have a great... I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you would like me to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. In yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. You know, there there are definitely some presidents who would probably take them up on that. I mean, other than it you know, being not real. Uh, but definitely some, like, Supreme Court justices. Okay. Um... Please don't make me do this entire episode with a card or around my body. Um, who would do that? Book Club. Penny. Hello, avid readers. The Bureau Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner of the table cafeteria at 5 p.m. on a Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Um, everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some con conversation starters before the meeting. It's like the, uh, the Finer Things Club from The Office. Um, this looks fucked up. Threshold kids. What the fuck? This is horrifying. You know what else starts with a C? Kids of employees who die? We'll find your mama together. The fuck? Why is it turning towards me? Why is it turning towards me? Oh, I'm so fucking. Oh no. That's. This is not what you want at a 9 a.m. on a Friday. Oh my god. We'll find her. Together. Uh, I 
am completely unnerved. Um, yeah. Yeah. Communications are on the right track. Do we think we go up? Probably go up. Uh, I don't know if that's really the way. Let's check out. The, let's check out the bathroom first. You never know. I'm waiting to to come in here one time and there's just like an enemy, just like ready to go. I was trying to poop. Uh, oh, good. I'm finding quite a few of these. Material. Undefined reading. Okay. Uh, blood on the floor. Don't... don't do they track footprints of blood? No. That would be really, really cool. That would be some, like, high-tech shit. <gasps> Okay. There was the pneumatics. Um well that looks evil. Alright, let's go in here. An object of power. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. Okay. Okay. We need to keep moving. Oh cool. This is awesome. This is awesome. It's shooting pneumatic tubes at me. We've seen them this whole time, of like the communications tubes. That's awesome. Alright, it's right click to crouch. Which is the opposite of literally every other game ever. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, I don't have clearance. I don't have clearance. This is awesome. Are you kidding? This is so cool. It's been my dream to cleanse. Oh. All right, go, go, go. No, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. I assume there's gonna be some, some enemies up here, right? They can't just let me do this unmolested. Are you supposed to do this like, is this like a sneaking section? Well, not really sneaking, because he definitely sees me, right? You can't. You can't get me. I'm I'm line of sighting you, my my dude. All right. Do you think we just run there? Oh my God! It's a giant floppy disk. It probably holds like less than a megabyte of information. The floppy disk slash nuke. Oh my god. To launch. To gain launch slash telekinesis. Teach us to believe, Director. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Okay. Are they really the ones pulling the, the strings? The bureau. I'm not their director. I'm not I'm their director. Director. Hold... Nope, let's shoot, obviously. <gasps> I'm like, I'm just so fucking jazzed. Do I have like a mana bar? I'm guessing that's what that bar is up there. Everything in this game feels so good. I can't understate that. It, it feels so good to do everything. Like this, melee, feels great. Can I pick up dudes? I wonder. Are there more I gotta hit? No. Okay. I am... I am so pleased by everything in this game. Th these sections remind me... There's a... There's a game called... I talked about it, I think, in Dark Souls. Uh... I don't know, it was in one of our, our podcast episodes. It was called Dishonored. And you have these sections where it's you deal with the, the outsider, is what it's called. And... Okay, wait. Destroy the copies with, with the abilities. So you get these sections... Uh, 
awesome. This is so fun. Do bigger objects take more or less power? No, it seems to be about the same. Oh yeah, so and let's 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 finish my my train of thought before I completely derail this episode. Um, so you have the the outsider, and you you collect whale powers. It sounds so stupid when I say these words aloud. Um, and you have these these sections where you're like out of space and time. The hiss noise is burring into our astral plane secret base. Okay, you must stop mute them. Okay. So you have to, you know, use your, your whale powers to teleport around. And it, it's very, very similar to this. It feels so satisfying. And it breaks this. Let's try that. Wow. Oh my god. It's just... This is really shaping up to be my game of the year this year. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. Um. I got it. Just like you want, oh. Right this way. Ooh, that does big damage. So we should use the the telekinesis stuff on dudes with uh shields. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Bring it on. I am a fucking god. Radio Shack God. Kneel before. I am so pleased by this game. I i don't know if I've ever enjoyed a game as much as I've really enjoyed this one. Like, it, everything is a fucking joy. I'm, I'm horny to learn more about the plot, and I know that's a weird, like, phrase to use to describe it, but that's, that is, that is how I feel. I am just like, I need to know every aspect of this game. I need to, to finish it. I need to, I need to complete it, is what I'm, was what I'm getting at. I cannot believe I have force powers. I'm so excited. All right. It's a level two, I guess. What did I just unlock? Uh, collectibles? It was a case file. All right, so the floppy disk must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. Obviously, the object is an eight inch diskette containing Soviet era nuclear launch codes. Whoa. When bound, the object allows para utilitarians to telekinetically lift material and throw it for short distance. This object is currently bound to, I guess me, for research purposes. Stolen from a Soviet military base located in, I don't know, Kiev uh, by agents blank and blank with the CIA. The diskette contains launch codes to uh, launch codes to nuclear missiles believed to be reserved for use against aliens. Uh, after being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team. An informant in the CIA tipped the bureau off and was requisitioned by agents the next day. Here's a shelter. Um, let's investigate this because it's a little room before we get to that other, the other, what is clearly the way. The book club. I don't really care about the book club. Not gonna lie. Interesting. I love that these, the items you get, um, like the, the objects of power have like really interesting backstories to them. All right. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Okay. This sounds bad. I got bags of money. I assume it's probably going to want me to throw them. So satisfying. Oh, this is the mail room. Okay. Are these like time cards? 
Oh. Launch efficiency. Personal mod. What's let's 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 check out what these loadout things are, right? Loadout. Oh, I can't equip mods. Oh, interesting. Exclusive to Shatter. I don't have Shatter yet. Personal mods. Interesting. Okay. I can have extra energy, health recovery element pickup. Needed more health. I think I'm doing fine. Uh eight percent is not a lot. Uh let's let's go raw health first. As I think we're okay. Um yeah, 8% is not a whole lot. If it was like 15%, maybe. I mean, I, I don't know percentage-wise, like, what would really matter. God, I hate this noise. Like, the hiss. The hiss gets me, man. Shatter projectile choke. Alright. I assume shatter is a... Is like an ability I'll get. Right? That makes sense. This is going to be a thing. This is going to be a thing. Oh, that's the mailroom. I see. Oh, there's too many ways. This is too many ways. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. It's overwhelming. I don't like when there's too many ways to go in games. Alright. Let's not go upstairs yet. Um... Claim control point. Oh, so it doesn't necessarily, like, they can just be blank and I can use them to fast travel. Okay, cool. What are you? Oh, I got clearance level one! This must open the door. Now we can go back and uh, open up some other doors. Hype. Alright. Um, I don't want to go the way yet. Let's, uh... Let's investigate these side areas first. I just don't want to miss anything, you know? I'm like Aerosmith. I just don't want to miss a thing. Um. What the hell? Ooh, what are you? Oh. Multiple clearance level ones. Maybe... I would. I was thinking if I got multiple, maybe they're they're not reusable. You're listening to America overnight. America overnight. Airwaves for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us, ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Ooh, Today, good word. Phantasmagorical. His story. Quincy. Thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicious Con. Suspicious Con. was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered. I'm not going to read all this. Who wrote this? Report to Dr. Darling. Oh my god, how cool. Too often in video games, you'll like you'll walk by something and like everything will just kind of be like this where it doesn't really matter. Uh, this shit's cool. What else we got? What else we got? I like that Quincy Jones is talking about, uh, I find myself under the bed. I was staying in room 47. There we go. music are they listening to? Oh my gosh. Alright. Alright, let's go see what the mailroom's about. 
No time like the present. Probably need to pick shit up and throw it at him. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, he's over here. Oh no, I probably need to take what he's throwing at me and throw it back, I think. Yeah, probably. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Ooh. Tomasi baby, what are you doing? to save my my ship when he he throws things at me, you know. <gasps> oh, there's ads. Oh, this is good. I mean, this is bad, but it's good cuz it'll give me some health. Oh, I died. All right. I immediately th I died. All right. Cool. That's a uh, that's tough. You know, that's that's super tough. We need to I guess take it slower. Um I don't know. That was interesting. He I am going to save my my catch and throw ability for when he throws stuff at me. I think that would be the the best way to go about it. All right, here we are. They can fly now. Great. Well, he can fly. Where are you, buddy? Throwing stuff really does some good damage against them. Ooh. Alright. Throwing stuff does real good damage against me, too, I should say. Alright, let's take care of these ads. I need to go fast. One little round at the speed of sound. Got nothing to go. Got to Alright, so Excalibur does some pretty good damage as well. Alright. Let's go up here. Where my enemies at? Where my enemies at? Come on, Tomasi! Got him. Yeah, that's the best way to take down those shields. It's so... It's nice. Girl, it must be nice If I could touch your body You know not everybody I got a body like you. It must be baby nice. If I could have more frames per second. What is someone spawning over here? Someone's shooting at me. Some dick. Alright, where's the, where's the dude? Where's the guy shooting at me? Got him. That's what you get. That's what you get. 
Okay. So I can, if I can like pick shit up and throw it at him, he won't. Like he'll he'll drop all his stuff. Got it. Oh, I didn't get it. Right, here we go. Take this stool and make it and make it your own. Okay, I can also shoot his objects. Ooh, I got a table. This is satisfying as shit. Uh, ooh, right, that was not satisfying. Alright, I got like one, a few more good, a few more good men, and a few more good hits. You know? Did I do it? Seems like I did it. Where's this phase two? All right. I have a feeling he'll be back. Oh, it was just the first. All right. Whew. Let's stay focused. That was awesome. The hotline should be past the mailroom. That was awesome. Let's investigate this mailroom a little bit. I want to see what I've see what I've missed. If there's anything to pick up, you always got to look for loot. Do I have clearance? I do have clearance. Where's this? Oh, it's a shortcut. Cool. That's kind of nice. All right, let's go downstairs. Doesn't seem to be anything up here. Man, this room has seen some shit. What is this? The hotline chamber. Oh, I need to go that way, I see. Okay, yeah, alright. Oh, maybe it was up there. That's where I needed to go. Hotline chambers to the left. Oh, it's in here, duh. All right. The butt summary. A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butt, where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at blank blank, which had been connected to a total of blank disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled a light switch cord and disappeared from view. They found uh, Narnia. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house blank days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. Uh, the light switch cord in Butt's home closet disappeared during this event. Weird. Super weird. Alberto Tomasi, head of... Alberto. The hiss got him. What's down there? Oh, it's just a. I can use it. All right. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Really Embassy happened. in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Told you. personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. I told you. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an altered item would show up inside a U.S. embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Are you still recording this? Tomasi. He was kind of a dick. Had a house memory. The hotline can't be far now. You always investigate the other areas. There we go. Undefined reading. Oh, 
god. Love it. Butt supplement. According to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the butt home to a roadside motel, discovered a room key by performing a ritual. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid. Interesting. Which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside the room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home's owners uh, and other locals of Butt have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Hotel is now known to have many doors and many pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butt home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of the writing, blank light cords have been found in the oldest house located in blank and blank sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is, I'm guessing, unknown. But initial hypothesis center on the butt AWE as blank. Interesting. So it transports between a hotel and this place. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know what to think about anything in this game yet. Like I'm just so I'm so confused. The security log. Who comes in? Director Trench, basically, and the custodian. Yeah. Watch one of those people who says they're a custodian not really be a custodian. Oh, it won't beep. That's sad. I hear a phone. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. This is the light switch cord. <gasps> You think I can walk on this? You think this is like an Indiana Jones type situation? It was not an Indiana Jones type situation. It was not an Indiana Jones type situation. <laughs> I thought it was like uh, Last Crusade. You know, you throw a little dirt on there and you can walk across. Well... You know, I thought wrong, okay? I'm not saying all my ideas are brilliant. I'm just saying I needed to go answer this phone, and I thought maybe I could walk across. How far back am I? Do I have to do this boss fight again, though? Does not appear so. All right, so we'll run back. Okay, so it looks like when you respawn, you respawn at the last whatever of those things it is, like those checkpoint areas. Not necessarily your last, like, autosave. It probably autosaves your your progress, not where you were. Yeah, because we've already listened to that. Going through this door. Okay, that makes a ton of sense then. So, it's not terrible. It's just a little, uh... I don't even want to say obnoxious. It's, like, it's just fine. Alright, let's go pull this light cord. Does this tell me how to get across? Nope. Catalyst, light switch. The law of three applies. <gasps> Do I have... Oh. Wait. Oh, I thought it was like a, a bridge down there or something. The law of three applies. What is the law of three? Oh, I should have... I should have gone to physicist school instead of fucking law school. The law of three applies. Whoa. Have we been here before? No. This game is incredible. Outside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. The Black Pyramid. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. I'm going to be able to go through all these doors. I just know it. This is how I traverse. I'm going to walk across. I'm going to hit another thing, another light switch, and I'm going to be in that room. I guarantee it. That's a Anyone nice touch. Here? 
I like this music. I don't want it to go away because in the real world, uh, it's some fucked up stuff that you hear. Key has a black pyramid on it. All right, let's go find it. I love all these posters. I love posters that are um, like old school type parks posters. Oh, black pyramid. There we go. <gasps> what? <gasps> That's me! That's me looking at the room! And there's a bridge. This is the light switch. This is it right here. Two. Three. The greatest game. This game is so fucking cool. The law of three applies. It makes so much sense. All right, let's have some plot dump. The Hotline Seashell is a transmitter bridge. Directors can call the board long distance. Call 1-800-COLLECT. Complete the Astral Plane Challenge. Oh, maybe I don't kill it? It will allow me to contact them. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry I just threw a bunch of shit at you. Okay, so don't do that. Okay, so I do kill it. Okay. It said it would allow me to contact. I thought maybe I needed to go up and talk to it first, you know? That was not the correct choice. That was an incorrect option. Fair enough. I mean, this is all learning experience, you know? I just killed some dude named Tomasi. We found a phone. We traveled to an interdimensional hotel, as you do. How far back are we? Only here. Okay. Doable. Oh, do you think I have to run from it? I bet I have to run from it. Are you going to get bigger? Is this like Katamari Damashi? Yeah, I wonder if this is like Katamari Damashi where I have to like... It, that thing slowly gets bigger uh, and swallows the world. And I need to like run by it. Okay, maybe I need to pull it over here and then run. Alright, let's try that. Let's try that. Hey, man. I want you to be over here. Try and eat that. So that I can run past you. Can you go over? No, you're fine. Alright, so it does seem like I, I have to run past these things. Interesting. I mean, I'm I'm definitely curious. Well done. You can contact us slash past selves. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It's Harry Potter. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, 
under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Interesting. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. These are gonna be like the Marshall bosses. especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. Deep. But things change when you become director. That was not informative at all. It gave me four names. Nose is bleeding. Nose I is bleeding. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. All right. I need to get back to Emily. Emily was that first lady I met, right? Yeah. People react strongly. When I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Who am I talking to? Her brother, I guess. Yep, we got more people. We got more people. Oh! I threw that right at myself. I threw that right at myself. I need health real bad. Go, 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 get, get this help, get this help. So don't throw explosives right in front of you. Noted. Okay, all right, we are, we have returned. I wonder if I could like pick up their bodies and throw them, you know? All right, I need something to throw. Got it. Hey, I need to come up with a good tagline. Time to return to your desk. <laughs> Time to return the desk to you. <laughs> Not good. I'll come up with something better. I got plenty of time. Seems like we got a lot of enemies. Um... Got him. Where's the rest of them? Oh, I see. Where are the people? We need to go talk to Emily. Let's go talk to her. Oh, I see. Oh, we have like a rocket. Are you kidding? You're going to shoot a rocket in this building? In this economy? <sighs> Seriously? Alright, let's go return to Emily. I don't know why this game is so choppy right now. Let's get out of this. Let's get out of this room and I'll investigate that crime scene. Alright. We will fast travel. I'll try that out. Fast travel. Mail room. Is this... That's where I am now. We need to go to the central executive. That's where Emily was. All right. If it's depleted, you use your abilities while it recharges. Central executive. Where are you, Emily? Oh, you're in the boardroom. That's right. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? It's, Sorry. it's all fucked up. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? 
Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. Cool. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. So we have to go there. We already got past one lockdown. We have to Maybe go there the, the manual away. way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. Oh, all thank that you. Seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If. You agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. Sweet. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. Those are probably my and next I'll look bosses. For away inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Sweet! I think we made some good progress today. I love this game so much. I'm talking to the director. <gasps> Janitor guy! What's up with you? Are you going to turn out to be the final boss? Department of Maintenance. What is this noise I'm hearing right now? There's a lot of... A lot of trees. A lot of growth. Which probably means I'm going to face like a tree boss or something. Nuclear reactor? Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this. I'm gonna get to go up that. I got ability points. Ooh, we'll spend those. New mission, directorial overdrive. Upgrade and unlock new abilities from the nearest control point, which is out here. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Singing? Where is it coming from? Hope is asked. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. All right. Abilities. Tend to melee damage, launch damage, plus 10 to health. Uh, we'll throw some into that. Uh, this is 20% to health. I think we're okay on that. I'd like to do not melee damage. We will do a little more launch damage, though, because that does some good damage. All right, we'll throw into launch damage. Ooh, cool. Weapon form slot. Launch grenades. In person. Astral construct. What? Weapon forms. Can shatter has a high stopping power with a scatter shot. Oh. It turns it into it turns my gun into a shotgun because my weapon can change forms. Awesome. Awesome. I think she's trying to get us killed. Am I? Am I, guy? All right, so we're going to head back in here. Hang with uh, Emily Pope. And we're going to call it for the day. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, this game is an absolute delight every single minute I'm playing it. My person's eyes kind of freak me out. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, do all that stuff on YouTube. Uh, go check out our podcast, The Popular Court. We put pop culture topics through uh, a little mock trial. Um, you can find us on all of our social media stuff, you know, all that usual nonsense. Uh, but thanks for watching, and uh, next week we are going to go down into that maintenance sector and check out that nuclear fucking reactor. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>